we've got water spraying everywhere um yeah we'll see how bad the situation is well good morning bobby lee here with hurricane creek farms appreciate y'all watching uh yeah a bit chilly still this morning I believe it's about 10 degrees negative wind chills but the end is in sight i think tomorrow we warm up to 34 and then that's sunday and then by monday our lows are even above freezing so the cold snap today is the last really kind of brutally cold day i think the high today is like 19 and then yeah next week we'll be complaining about the rain it's supposed to be warm and rainy all week but these animals are hungry the cows are pretty much out of hay we're gonna have to put out um some hay in the feeders later on we're gonna unroll that bale here in just a bit we'll get them some feed in the in the feed troughs first but um appreciate y'all watching appreciate it even more when you hit that thumbs up button i know most of you are subscribed but the ones of you that aren't please click that button it helps us out but let's uh let's get some animals fed It would appear that I've made a mistake. This freeze miser that was trickling into this trough was trickling really fast, faster than it probably had to. So I cut the flow to it just a little bit there on the Y. And it was still trickling pretty good. I guess we got back down into single digits last night and uh, yeah, it, it, it failed, which I'm gonna take some of the blame for that. So. Again, we're only getting up to about 19 today. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get that thing thawed out. Um, I, think, I think I've got a plan just generally in my head that should work, but uh, yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll have to go to the house and get a few things. But they've got water for right now, broke the ice on top. They got something to drink. They're just gonna drink all that down pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll get them fed. They should be content for a couple of hours so I can get back out here with the tractor and get uh, you know, some hay delivered to the feeders for them. Yeah. They seem pretty content anyway. Get them a little breakfast. This crew, all but the six head that we've been consistently missing, I say missing, they're back there in the back, which makes no sense. Um, the rest of them are here, in good shape water's going we didn't 
choke back the freeze miser here so it's still working as it should be. Uh, two things I'm going to try to accomplish. Find where that bad spot in the cross fence is. I have a good idea, at least a good starting point we're going to go straight to. Um, and then two, we would like to put eyes on those calves again. It's been, I guess that was Wednesday when we flew the drone back there and saw them. Um, ground's nice and hard this morning. We can drive just about anywhere we want to. So we're going to do that as well. Well, there they are. And they actually look to be in good shape. <laughs> they don't look like they've lost a bunch of weight or look distressed at all. Um, but yeah, they're just like, hey man, yeah, we're just back here grazing. So I don't know. Yeah, part of me respects it. Like, hey, y'all yeah, hustle. <clears throat> do your thing. Don't be up here at the feed bump expecting me to take care of you. So I think actually right here where they are is close to what I suspect is the bad spot in the fence. We're going to drive up here as close as we can. Scout it out. I didn't bring a single thing as far as any tools or wire or anything to work on fence. So we're not going to be able to patch it. Yeah, there's been a lot of foot traffic through here. So we'll see. A lot of this was old storm damage from the tornadoes last spring, which what annoys me with that, if that's where they're getting out is, that was March 31st. We've had no animals really taking advantage of this spot and fence until just now with this new group, but whatever. Enjoy one last hot sip of coffee before we brave the elements again. It's not so bad, my, my toes and my fingers even with good wool socks and my insulated rubber boots and then, you know, good heavy pair of gloves. It's just, yeah, those negative windshields, it's just hard to stay warm. <laughs> Here's some of the massive oaks that came down in that storm. They're not, of course there's, a, you know, two cross fences meet right here. They're not, they may not be getting out here. Of course, the tops of these trees. No, I don't think, I don't think that's where they got out at all. And we'll walk on this way. See if we can find evidence of somewhere else. Yeah, and there's like some spots like that. But same thing, hadn't been any foot traffic there. Okay, this may more likely be our bad spot, or it's definitely a bad spot. Boys are coming and going. I don't know what happened to the wire. Like, we're missing all but the top wire right here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, or we're not missing, but they're broken. Um, that'll be a quick fix, should be. But I really don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, normally we, we have a bad spot on the fence. It's where a tree is falling like 99% of the time. You know, maybe a spot where, you know, at a water crossing or something where it's washed out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what would have done that. But anyway, okay. So got that objective accomplished. Really all we should need is We'll probably bring a little wire, you know, tie those old wires back together. A couple of wire ties to attach it back to those posts where it's off. It should be like a 10 minute fix. I'm um, probably not going to worry about it today. Maybe tomorrow though, it's going to warm on up. Uh, yeah, it, it won't be a hard fix. So. Okay, we shall return. All right, so getting this hydrant thawed back out so we can water these calves. Um, got this heated little cable system. I don't know what you call it exactly. Um, we're gonna plug it in, wrap that around that hose. Also have this little magnetic heater right here. Um, I've used one of these in the past. Um, also put these 
like on some of our older tractors and put that like on the oil pan um warm it warm it up uh you know before you try to start them in this real cold weather but we'll see if we can uh yeah and i'm just probably just gonna magnetically just kind of pop that on there I, I don't know if that's gonna be totally necessary especially since we've got this um but it won't hurt So we'll see, we'll give that a couple of hours, see if it, if it gets that thought out. Um, you know, if not, we can uh, we can take take that hose off there, <laughs> simply take it in the house. That would probably be much faster. <laughs> um, whatever, we want to see if this works. Um, and if not, we'll, we'll get water from somewhere. And you can see they, they definitely came over and drank it down a little after they ate their breakfast. So, speaking of breakfast, it's not even quite nine o'clock. I think I'm gonna get in the house, cook me a little breakfast, warm up before we uh, uh, we'll let we'll let temperature warm up. You know, like I say it's going up all the way to 19. I think be a little easier. I'm getting the tractor started here in a little while. All right, let's see. The old Kubota will start up for us. She hasn't failed us yet through this cold spell. All right, baby, do your thing. Let her warm up. We'll walk down here and see if our hydrant is thawed out and what our water situation is. It's been about two hours since we put that heater cable and then that magnetic heater on there. Well, that is not a good sign. Not sure exactly what the problem is, but we've got water spraying everywhere. Um, We'll see how bad the situation is. I'll try not to get soaking wet in the process. Oh. Apparently putting that block heater on there was a very bad idea. It apparently got way too hot. Um, well, crap might be a good word to use here okay so they still have water here for now won't for much longer because they're gonna drink it down uh yeah it split right there okay so I'm optimistic we can just replace the top off this hydrant I don't know Probably gonna have to call my plumber out um, <laughs> here in this next week. Um, the good news, the, maybe the only good news, which we might as well unplug this other one. Yep, mistakes have been made this morning. Okay, but we got it cut off. Um, yeah, it was just a bad idea, I guess. Um, We've got a, another hydrant down there that can water out of that trough. We're gonna go ahead and, and just fill it up. Um, I may take this water line off of here. Hopefully it is warmed up. And uh, you know, just that hose. And uh, they'll be able to get water there. Okay, live and you learn. Okay, so thankfully we got this hydrant down here in the whole barn. We'll fill up this tank. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll just use it temporarily till we can get that other hydrant fixed. Yeah, I guess you live and you learn a little bit. Um, and I want y'all to be honest. How many of you all saw me putting that on there, on that hydrant, you know, a couple hours ago, or just a couple minutes ago in this video, and said, oh no, Bobby Lee, that might be a bad idea. Leave me a comment. Be honest with me if you thought that was a bad idea, but you know, thankfully it's a mistake 
we're gonna survive. So, all right, let's get some hay put out for these cows. Okay, that's six rolls put out in the feeders. These last two I put out were out of the barn, so while well, they're over there eating some of those others, I imagine they're gonna migrate over to these, these two and probably eat them up first. Um, we do get some questions sometimes about our different style of hay feeders. And uh, yeah, we've tried different ones over the years just to see which ones we like the best. Um, naturally, the more expensive ones I do like the best. Um, that red one is kind of, well, it's the, the second closest one now. First one that we dropped the bale into. I probably like it the best. Those are the most expensive. Um, that cone style one that's made out of the plastic, um, they don't seem to waste very much there at all either. Now we do tend to put some of the best hay in those feeders too. So that may play a role as well. Where of course the best hay, they're gonna clean it up maybe better than they do those others but got that done that's it's kind of again one of those days where if it wasn't for the wind it's you know relatively pleasant especially with the sun shining well another good morning to you we uh out and about checking on this group up the road looks like we're still missing those same six that have decided they're going to stay back there in the back so whatever looking at the hay feeders that one's getting pretty low that one not so much really i think my tentative plan is we'll probably go ahead and bring them some hay down here this afternoon um, we're gonna get above freezing today and then uh freeze again tonight then by, come tomorrow we won't be able below freezing again so this is gonna melt really quick so we're gonna go from it being really you know nice and hard ground to being a muddy mess and two, it sets in the rain for like four straight days. So it is really gonna turn into a muddy mess quickly. Um, two, that'll save me from having to come down here tomorrow, um, you know, in the middle of the day or something like that. And, and potentially running into issues getting away from the office. But they look to be doing good. Like I told the cows at home this morning, we pretty much made it through the, the polar vortex, whatever we wanna call it. Uh, about eight degrees this morning. Yeah, going up to 34, I think tonight, the low's like mid-20s, so y'all survived the cold. Also, yeah, looky here. Got a little meat in the back of the truck. Uh, I was able to get a doe yesterday afternoon and a, a buddy had a cull buck that he wanted out of the herd, big four point um, that he shot and then another buddy shot a, a doe. So uh, we got three deer to take to the processor this morning. Going over to see our buddy Dave who also does um, some of our beef processing. You ready to go? Got my main helper. Hey, on the one I shot, we made a good shot on it, but she ran about 50 yards. Who found the blood on that deer? Me. That's right, Willis. We knew where she went in the woods around about when she ran out of the field. I was like, buddy, just start looking for blood. Of course, on the snow, it was pretty pretty apparent, but I was looking hard. I wasn't, I wasn't defaulting to him, but he found blood before I did. I think you actually saw her laying there before I did too, didn't you? Yeah, I saw um, uh, deer. That's my little bloodhound. wasn't nearly empty, but we can squeeze another roll in there. We weren't gonna bring just one roll down here for making this trip with the tractor. Um, and I didn't want to come back down here tomorrow, but it should be a pretty regular work day for us. 
it is a balmy 31 degrees but the sun is really shining but as long as long as we're, it's getting really hot in here in the cab even though I didn't have the heat on very high at all uh, but yeah just beautiful day we're gonna get that back down in the 20s tonight but then after tonight this stuff's gonna get melted in a hurry um, especially when some rain moves in tomorrow but yeah this group should be good on hay for uh, probably three, yeah, because they've really got about two and a half rolls of hay left. Uh, probably three days, so we'll see. We're going to get this other one to put in this ring here. Head back to the house, start doing some evening chores. Back at home. The haystack's getting mighty small. I was looking at my past feeding records, and usually... We feed to basically the end of March, you know, at least third week of March um, in there. It, now, a lot of times our hay consumption starts going down as we get into March, but I think we've got enough hay to probably last us at the current rate to maybe the first of March. Um, I don't know, maybe not even quite that long, maybe just another month. Let me sit here on january 21st so we shall see uh my dad and my uncle i have talked to them they they do have some hay that they don't think they're gonna need so if we need to get a few rolls from them too with their, them having the bigger rolls um because i was trying to figure we probably need another maybe 60 rolls if i was guessing of our size so that would only be about 30 rolls of what they've got. I think they've got more than that, but we'll see. We're not panicking right now. Um, we hope it doesn't get just completely muddy because then having to get that hay, they've got it stacked, you know, around the edges of fields and whatnot. We'd rather not be doing that with it super muddy. But um, yeah, we, we survived the winter storm. I'm ready to go ahead and declare that. One more night below freezing, not a big deal. Nobody calved, which we're, Practically speaking, about three weeks away from calving um, on our herd. Um, but of course, and my father-in-law's cows, not real sure when some of them would have calved. So um, we had a we had just a little bit of a concern that, that one of, the, of them could have could have tried to have had a calf on one of those brutally cold nights, but didn't. So we were thankful for that. Oh, man, we, uh, um, we, we, we're gonna get these steers fed um, tonight. We are actually gonna eat a um, little deer heart. Um, we also uh, had some uh, some goose meat, um, so we're gonna make some goose poppers. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't eat geese. You know, they don't, they don't taste very good in Canada. They taste just fine if you cook them right. But so no beef for us tonight. But we had spaghetti at my dad's house for lunch. So um, my, my I shouldn't say my dad's house. My parents' house. My dad cooked it though. Um, of course, that was made with Hurricane Creek Farms ground beef. So we've eaten our beef for today. Um, not that we couldn't eat it again, of course. But rambling on, uh, we appreciate y'all watching. We really do. That's the only reason we do this. Remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Um, if you've been watching this whole video all the way to the end and you're not subscribed, you should be. Um, please give it a thumbs up. It takes you a split second. It helps somehow or another with the algorithm. But anyway, um, coming up, we're going to get that water hydrant fixed. We're watering them down in the old barn right now. Um, may, may do some fencing this next week. Like I mentioned a few times, it's going to be raining. Um, if, if it's, uh, if we can catch it between rain showers on Wednesday on my day off, we'll probably um, get that fence fixed down on the other farm. Need to tackle a project back here as well. But I need a tractor to push a big tree that we cut up kind of out of the way. And if it's real muddy, we may not want to do that. But anyway, we appreciate y'all watching once again. I've said that. I don't know how many times now. Y'all check back with us next time. Getting ready for calving season here just a few weeks away. Y'all eat beef and God bless.